me again. Today I am going to teach you how to make um, leaves out of these like soda can tops, like beer can tops. And you need quite a few, so save up or, or beg your friends for them. Um, and this is what it looks like. Here's a blue one with a little bow. And here is, let's see, like a purple and yellow one. And these are usually um, given to uh, college graduates and high school graduates in Hawaii along with uh, flower lays and candy lays and money lays. Uh, and so it's really neat because you can coordinate them uh, with your school colors. And so on graduation, all your friends and family, they, they lay you. And sometimes you have so many that it can go to your, to your eyes. And you have them on your head, too. So, And here are a little bracelet made out of the can top. So it's a little tricky and confusing, but I know you can do it. So let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need lots of these tops, uh, the soda can tops. And what you're going to have to do, and you see on the back, they have a little lip on them. When you pop them off the can, you have to cut these off with a plier or uh, one of those um, thingamabobs. So, you know, I'm talking about know, because they're going to overlap. And if the lip is on there, they're going to hook. And you don't want them to hook like this, so you have to cut them off. And then you're going to need ribbon, um, whatever color we're using, navy blue today, but you can coordinate it with school colors uh, or wedding, maybe like white lace, um, yeah, and all that, or whatever, you know, your favorite color is. So you're going to need two of them, two ribbons, same color, different color, whatever, okay? And here comes the tricky part. We're going to put them together like this. Hold them like this. All right, let's see if I can do this without confusing people even more. Pop cat. This is top. That's bottom. Top, bottom, top, bottom. Everything's going to be in the same order, and they're all going to go like this. Here's the first one. Second one's going to go on top. Okay? Third one is going to go on top. Fourth one is going to go on top, so on and so on and so forth and so on. Okay, so let's get our first one. We're going to, from the bottom, like this. And we're working upside down. And you want to pull it all the way to the end of your ribbon. Okay, but leave some at the end so you have a little bow, bow room. Okay, so that's what we did first. Get the second one, put it on top, on top, hold it with your thumb, get the ribbon, stick it through both of them. Come on, baby. Stick it through both of them. You're going to do that with both of them, both of the ribbons. And this takes practice. Make sure your ribbon is not crinkled, okay? So that's it. Once you stick it down, you're going to want to come back up here. So up, down, up, down. This is up. See? Up. Same thing with the bottom one. Up. And congratulations, you have your first two pop caps. And then you just do the next one exactly the same. You get it? You put it on top top of the one you just did, okay? Hold it with your thumb. You get your ribbon. Put it down through both of them. Down through both of them. You're going to do that with the bottom one, too. Come on. You can do it. Oh, oh, and as a good trick, you can um, get the ribbon and tape it and, you know, like twist it so it's like kind of like a needle. So that's really neat. 
So go through both of them and pull them. Okay? And then, remember what we did? After we went through both, we went back up through this one. Back up and do the same thing with the bottom. Okay? Now remember what I said about cutting off the little lip to the pop can? Now this is why you do it. I didn't cut it off this time because I don't have um, pliers, but they don't move, right? But for instance, this one that has them cut off, look how, you know, flexible it is, okay? That one moves. This one does not, okay? So, off to the next one. Put it on top. Hold it with your thumb. Go down through both of them. Going down, down, down. Down through both of them. And then, what do we do after we go down through both of them? I can actually do it. Come on. Okay. Then after we go through both of them, what do we do? We go back up through here, the last one. So folks, this is basically it. Um, and of course there are different styles, but I think this is the, the prettiest one. Okay? So this is what you have, and you keep going and going and going all the way down your ribbon, all the way down, and we'll pretend that ours is all the way down. And then when you connect them, this is what you do. For instance, these are not connected. So this is one end right here. This is the other end. You just connect them, but you are doing... Uh, you know, regularly, you just connect them like that. So you're going to go down through both of them and go up through one. And then, you just tie a really cute ribbon after you connected it. See, this is where, it, where it's connected. You just tie a really neat ribbon. Here's one style. And I like it because it looks like a snake. Um, here is... Another style. Here is another one. And these are really great. Um, really simple to make. And if you really want to get decorative, you can put the ribbon around the top parts too. Right here. And along the bottom, to so go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And just tie a really pretty bow at the end. So that is it. I hope it was really simple. If you have any questions, just um, comment and let me know, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. But it's really simple, and even if you don't live in Hawaii, you can make it for your friends during graduation. Um, and I think it'll be something really neat and unique. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of people, you know, it'll be the first time they've seen it. So, um, you know, spreading the, the, I guess, tradition and cultural differences, you know, around the world is always great. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Come